Hey, good morning everybody. I'm Amy Kinsey and I'm the Kids Director here at Radiant Life and this is my first time getting to do At Eight. So I am super excited. Um, and yeah, so I wanna, um, some tips I've been given is to give a few minutes to allow people to jump on. Um, so yeah, I will just tell you a little bit about myself. <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah, maybe a little glowy, a little out of breath, but hey, good morning, Heather, I see you're on. I just got done with my run this morning. Good morning, Nancy. Good morning, Terry. I hope your heart's doing okay after last night. <laughs> uh, it's just my husband being my husband and trying to scare people. Um, but yeah, and so yeah, I'm trying to catch my breath a little bit, but um, super excited to join with you guys this morning. Um, so we are gonna be doing uh, our time today with prayer and our um, scripture reading um, <laughs> with out of Ephesians this morning. And our focus is gonna be pray, um, prayer on our marriages and for our marriages. And so I just wanna give you guys, those who aren't married, um, hang in here. I still think it's very applicable and um, a great way to pray for even ourselves individually, um, but for also for those around us who are married too. Um, so, good morning, Amy. It's good to see you. Good morning, Beverly. Bev, that was kind of weird. Sorry, Bev. <laughs> oh, but good morning. Glad to see you. So let's get right into it. We're going to be in Ephesians chapter 5. as you open up your Bible there. Um, and we're gonna just read um, two verses this morning. Um, and it was really cool when I was uh, preparing for this and reading this, um, I had thought I had like this first verse that we're gonna read. Good morning, Tammy. Um, I've always heard it in the context of, um, of course in marriage, but as a physical intimacy uh, with a husband and wife. And as I was reading it and reading the um, verses around it and just reading some commentary on it, like it just, it opened my eyes to something new and just the, the beauty and the plan that God has for us. Um, but, um, and it, it's a little bit m more than just that physical intimacy, but just the union between a husband and a wife, but also the union between Christ and the church. Um, and just knowing God's love for us is just huge. <laughs> um, and so the plan that he has and how he orchestrates everything together is just absolutely amazing. Good morning, Rebecca. Um, so right here in um, verse 31 and 32, it says, for this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and the two will become one flesh. This is a profound mystery, but I'm talking about Christ in the church. And so as I was reading that, and like, yes, like Jesus even stepped out of heaven, away from his father, right? To be united with the church, to be united with us, to walk on earth, and help us to be one with him and with the Father. Um, and how awesome that is, and how he designed marriage to be the same way. Um, that when, when we are married, that our marriages should reflect the redemption of God um, with, that un with that unity between the two. And so as we are beginning and preparing um, during this fast, a couple of ways that we can be praying for each other in our own marriages and for others and for those who aren't married is that that, that unity with Christ is our marriage in unity with Christ, is our marriage um, showing that redemption that God has for us, that plan 
Um, and also, if, if you're not married, how is, your, how is your spiritual walk? How are you every day? Are you living out and people would know the redemption that God has through how you're living, how you're talking, what you're sharing with your friends and family and coworkers, um, and that unity. Are you walking in step with Holy Spirit? And, and if you're not, hey, <laughs> he is forgiving. And we can, we can confess it and repent and join that and just take a few minutes to be like, Lord, be with me this morning. Help me walk in step with you. Um, so there's a couple of different ways. Um, and also those who are married um, and one spouse is not uh, following Jesus, my heart is out for you as well. Um, to be praying uh, for their eyes to be revealed to his holy truth um, and that you would just continue to pray for one another, that you'd continue to pray for your spouse um, this morning. And so um, I would like to close with praying um, and just to be encouraged um, and just more, yeah, more of a reflection time. Like what does your, is your marriage looking like unity? Um, and like how God has given Jesus to be for the church and the church be walking in step with Jesus. Um, I know for me, forgiveness is a huge piece. Um, ever since we started um, this, eight, this at eight and I knew what I was going to be talking about and preparing for it, <laughs> you wouldn't believe how many times I have to forgive Brandon. Now I know that's hard to believe, because he's just so great and fabulous. But <laughs> there has been just like God just saying, Amy, you're going to talk about it, but are you living it? And so he's really stretching me, and I love my husband. Um, and yes, I do forgive him all the time, and just like he has to forgive me all the time too because I'm not perfect either. Um, but our goal is that we would be united and not just that our marriage wouldn't just be for us, but it's also an example for our kids and for others who are walking um, and, and trying to walk out a biblical marriage. Um, and so be praying for that as well, that your marriage would be an example to others. Um, so we're going to go ahead and close in prayer this morning. Uh, thank you so much for allowing me to be a part of this and to uh, join all of you and to just share my thoughts that God has laid on my heart um, in regards to this passage and um, just our way of praying this morning. So if you would bow your heads with me, um, or if you're driving, don't. <laughs> uh, but Heavenly Father, thank you so much for your word. Uh, God, thank you so much that we can have it at our fingertips. Lord, we are such a blessed nation um, to be able to have your word ready at any time through technology and through thousands of printed Bibles. Uh, Lord, we are just so blessed. Uh, may we take, um, may we not take that for granted. Um, and Lord, we just praise you and we thank you so much for your son, Jesus, and his love for us and your love for us and just how you have made a way beyond your redemption is just, it's, it's in so many areas of our life and how we can live out your truth and your love. Um, and so Lord, I just thank you. I thank you for who you are and how big you are. Um, and so Lord, I lift up our marriages to you. I lift up those of you, those of us who are married um, Lord, that our marriages would reflect um, beautifully the, you and who you are and your love for us as a church and as a people. Uh, Lord, I pray for strength in our marriages. Um, Lord, I pray for those who are struggling right now in their marriage. Lord, I just, I, I pray that there would be a forgiveness, um, that there would be a healing in those marriages, Lord, I pray that um, 
if there's counsel that needs to be sought, Lord, that there would be no barriers around that, Lord, that they would be, both couples would just be um, willing and ready and willing to fight for their marriage, Lord. And I just, I lift up those who are not married. Uh, Lord, I just, I just ask that you would continue to help them stay focused on you Lord, and if you are preparing them for marriage, I would I lift up their future spouse. I lift them up to you as well, Lord, that they would keep their eyes on you. Well, Lord, but I do. I lift up our whole church body to you this morning. God, we love you. May we be a people who pursue holiness with everything we have in every aspect of our life. We love you, Jesus, and it's in your name we pray. Amen. Well, good morning. Thanks, everybody. I hope you have a wonderful day. Kathy, thanks for joining us, and Larry. And uh, I thought I saw Bethany earlier, so just thank you guys. Have a wonderful day, and um, yeah, we'll see you soon. <laughs>